Hello, I am Rajendra Chaure and I am excited to be back here with you all. It's been a while but today I have got something really special lined up. We are going to learn about an amazing tool in R for data visualization, the Raincloud plot. Raincloud plot is very impressive plot which combines three different plots together. One is dot plot which shows local distribution of data, raw data and then box plot which shows the five point summary of the data that uh, make minimum maximum first quantile median and third quantile and we see if the data is symmetric or not and the third is the density plot where density local density of the points has been shown using these three we can very easily understand the distribution properties or distribution characteristics of the data Rain cloud plot is the best plot to compare distributions of data in different categories and for that x axis is categorical and y axis is numeric and there we can compare those different categories or distribution of data in different categories using the rain cloud plot let's start plotting rain cloud plot and for that we have to call library gg rain gg rain and run that and if you get any error that package is not found then go to tools and click install packages and install ggrain package and here i will type the name ggrain and this is ggrain and click installed package will get installed and that package is already installed my system therefore i will not install it and when the package gets installed click on this command library ggrain or type it and run that the library is there in my memory now all the functions are there and now i will start plotting the plot ggplot and i am going to use iris data set for that i will load iris comma aesthetic and just like any uh, box plot or distribution plot we will type the categorical variable as x axis here and that is spaces numeric variable will be the y axis and here we are going to use that sepal length variable of iris data as uh, y axis and then plus we'll use geom rain and bracket complete we'll run that and we'll see a very basic uh sepal length yeah, spelling mistake is there i will correct that spelling mistake sepal dot length and run that and now that gg rain plot is there right? according to species if you want feel color feel to this just map the attribute field to spaces in the aesthetics aesthetics of ggplot and run that the field will be there and these colors these uh, points are colored black if you want to color those then you can color those in this geom rain also just type color is equal to uh, i will use the blue color and run that and this is how easy it is to get a rain cloud plot with dot plots box plot component and the density plot component and we, we can very easily see uh, the differences in local density of those variables and we can compare distributions of different uh, categories of that categorical variable and if you want to customize that this plot then uh, we can have a different theme that uh, for you can use the themes also i will use classic theme here theme classic and run that and this classic theme is there if you want to have some fancy theme i will use the package ggpub r for that library ggpub r i am calling and uh, when i call that i will run that library function and then this theme i will change to pub r and it's also very impressive theme uh the name itself it suggests that is a publication ready and this legend is at the top we can change the position of the legend using the theme function and now uh, i will add the title to this plot gg title we can use the labs also labs command but i am i just want to add title only and there i will put in gg title rain cloud plot and my plot is ready if you want to have fancy color themes then you can use gg sci package library ggsci and if you don't have when you run this command and if you get any error then this package ggsci is not installed go to tools install packages type ggsci and install the package package will install i will not install again and then i will use the color theme uh, scale fill manual 
or scale fill AAS I am using. This is from GGSI package and this color scheme will get changed. Okay, you can use color schemes of your choice. Just here, you can put this asterisk and all these color schemes are there and select the color scheme from the GGSI package and these are the different color themes and very beautiful uh, uh, distribution plot is there ready for us. And uh, we'll stop here for today then. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please uh, click like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to this channel because I get motivated uh, by seeing the number of subscribers. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks. Thanks for watching.